on this episode of The Ultimate Agent. Welcome to day two. Oh, I'm ready. We're about to write 10, 15 grand today. I'm feeling really excited. It's day two. So hey, I'm ready to go door knocking. So today and tomorrow are filled cells only. Absolutely, I'm ready to jump in the car and head out. A little nervous just because it's an unknown city. I've never been here. <laughs> I'm ready, I, I, I am ready. Push today, get off to a fast start as we jump out for day two of the Ultimate Agent. My name is Cody Askins. I've been in the insurance industry since I was 20 years old, and it's my mission to help and train every agent in the world. We took five agents from across the country and had them compete in the most intense, emotional, and entertaining competition the industry has ever seen. Winners win, but legends dominate winners, and I'm, I'm gonna be a legend. I'm thinking that my minimum is 5,000 a day. We brought in some of the top mentors and trainers in the world to help these agents along the way. We pushed them to their limits, fine-tuned their skills, and documented the entire experience. Okay, and so what's a good time for you tomorrow, Larry? I'm gonna be relentless, bring the bulldog out. I'm ready, like, I'm so ready. Five agents, six days, $121,000 on the line. And the competition starts right now. Now. Welcome to day two of The Ultimate Agent. Day I love it. I'm excited. Ready yeah. for a big day. Oh, I'm ready. We're about to write 10, 15 grand today. A little nervous just because it's an unknown city. I've never been here. I'm ready. I, I, I am ready. Ready for a huge day. How was yesterday? Great. Oh, yeah, awesome. cool. Johnny, yeah. what was your favorite part, man? Oh man, just being able to book appointments with Brian right there next to me, like being able to get coached up with that, like on the spot was amazing. Mm -hmm. I love it, I love it. How about you, Amanda? Same thing, I loved uh, tips from Leslie and Brian and David. Yeah. Patrice, what stood out? Like if you think about the whole day yesterday, like we did a lot, but what's the biggest takeaway, the biggest thing that stood out for you yesterday? Yesterday, the biggest thing that stood out for me was that this is an opportunity for us to like open up our minds, to expand yeah. our mindsets. Everything that happened was mind blowing. And in order to experience it all, you gotta open up some. Forget about what you've learned. Soak in all of this new knowledge. And that's exactly what I'm doing. The competition is me. I love it. Talk to me, Michael. What do you think, bro? For me yesterday was uh, listening to these three, their stories, you know, David, Leslie, and Brian. Uh, just goes to show what's possible when when we really focus on what our goals are. That many years of wisdom available to you, you can't just go out and buy that. Moon, <laughs> how was yesterday for you? It was amazing. I really, yeah. I just wanted to like take everything in and I really appreciate everything Leslie and uh, Daddy Askins was, you know, there rooting me <laughs> I, on. I love that you say Daddy Askins, <laughs> by the way, right? I mean, I that, that. that's his name now, okay? <laughs> Um, but just the fact that like, even when I was running into like little challenges, like just the little workarounds that um, Leslie knew about, just the little tricks of the trade, it just made a big difference. Cool. So I really appreciate that. Um, David, out of everything yesterday, what was the coolest piece of being able to work with these five contestants? So my, my favorite part was um, Patrice. So she's never set appointments before, right? right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, being somebody <laughs> that sells on the phone, Right, because if, if you sell on the phone, there's no reason to set an appointment, right? Because you already have them on the phone, you might as well sell them at that point. The first thing I wanted to do was see what experience she had. I didn't want to start her completely over doing things completely different, right? You know, she said she was a telesales agent, so it's like, good, you know how to talk to people on the phone, you already know how to deal with objections. The cool thing is, she never sold on the phone, you gave her a task, like, hey, we're gonna set some appointments, just, okay, let's go. Yeah, no fear. No fear. Right? I love it. A lot of people have fear, by the way, Patrice. That's awesome. <laughs> she will go for it, man. That's it. But that's what they just got to do. Like, I was talking about it online. I, I was putting a Facebook post out this morning, just talking about the experience. And it's crazy. Like, it's tough. It's challenging mentally, emotionally, physically. But that's insurance every single day. Yeah. Right? So we want to make it's it as true. real as possible. Yeah. Leslie, what were some big takeaways for you as you're working through this? Oh, man. Oh, man. There are so many. I love it when um, a seasoned agent hasn't dialed in a while and gets back in their groove. That's like amazing yeah. for me to witness. And also when somebody that like, to piggyback off what you said, watching somebody book their first appointment and that spark that they get when they get the confidence. Mm. And then they're like, oh wait, 
it's not that bad because the phone weighs a thousand pounds. Everybody yeah. knows that. And so I just tell them like, do the reps, work the bicep muscle, pick it up, put it down. Yep. The more times that you do this, the easier it becomes. And I could, I watched that happen yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Who stood out to you yesterday? Ah, that's such a tricky question. Can't say them I all. I think though. everybody has their own. <laughs> everybody has their own thing, but I want to give it to Moon because I think she's so green, right? right. She's so new, and she was just absorbing all of the critiquing and the constructive criticism, and that's Love what it, it takes to be successful in this business. Thank you. Close Good your job. mouth, open your ears. Love it. And like what you hear, absorb it all. You need to be a sponge. And it's overwhelming. Yeah. It gets really overwhelming, especially when you have a lot to say, right. Right? right? And so I just, I commend you, and I think you kept up really well yesterday. Wow. Thank you so much. That's awesome. And Leslie is a drill sergeant. So I was like literally in boot camp. I was in boot camp yesterday, but yeah, I need a like, whistle. She was like, "Come on, soldier!" And then, <laughs> and then yeah, I, and I'm just like this, and she was like, "Was that too much?" I was like, mm -mm, "I'm good." You know? Yes. Yes. Yeah. All right, D Daddy Askins. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Daddy Askins. What, what what do you think about yesterday? I thought it was absolutely great. Johnny started this business when he was 20 years of age, and I started this business when I was 20, and so it's kind of a crazy. I look back and I'm Johnny 32 years ago. Mm. I, I listened to Michael on a phone call and, and the dude is just, he was smooth. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was an objection he had overcome and uh, he came, overcame it. And next thing we know, the lady's giving an address and telling him what the color house is and yeah. I mean, what, what the corner streets are at and she's, she's making sure he gets there, Love you it. know, after just a few more minutes. So anyway, they just absolutely phenomenal. And uh, uh, these are just five great individuals that uh, I, I enjoy hanging around, so. Well, let's give all of you a hand real quick, okay, before we jump into today. So today and tomorrow are field cells only, which is why we were booking appointments last night and we had our first agent challenge in the books mm. where for 30 minutes you were dialing and booking as many appointments as you can and the results are in. So here's the results. First place was Johnny with five appointments. <laughs> I'm feeling great about that because I know that it, it's the mental game and I know that if I could get real estate early in their heads, it's, it's just, it's, it's gonna be great. Second place, and this was really close by the way, second place, Moon Thomas with four, okay? I'm ready, like, I'm so ready. Appointments, door knocking, referrals, all that. And Amanda also booked four, but she was on a call a little bit after 7.30, but she technically called it before 7.30 and still booked it, so it still got her to the four. So third place is Amanda with four, okay? I love it. Now, because you were the top three, you will get to pick an order, which mentor joins you out in the field for this morning for the first several hours. So the first pick is Mr. Johnny. I'm going with Brian. Uh, I, the reason that I, I'm going with him is because great conversation. He was up there helping me and I'm excited to learn from his 32 years. Uh, this game is about referrals. So I'm really trying to pick up how he's able to get that to an amazing experience where he doesn't even ask for referrals, but he's get it, he's writing 600,000 on his own pen. I love, I love it, it, man, I love it. Okay, congratulations, Johnny. Okay, Moon. Okay, I would have picked Daddy Askins, but he's taken. Okay. So I want to. I really want to work with David because I didn't really get to really talk to you that much yesterday. So I want to get a chance to get to know you and just like learn your out. You know, like in the field style. Absolutely Leslie, no, no shade, <laughs> but you already coached yes. me. Up. You coached me up, so I'm glad about that. So I'm gonna just pick David. Well, initially I thought I would pick Leslie. That's just because she was helping me yesterday. But I thought about it. I was like, since she already has helped me, I've learned from her already. So I wanted to kind of like, kind of flip that real quick and see what I can learn from David. Third place, next pick, well, Amanda Lunsford. Even if I was first place, Leslie would have been my first choice. Aww. So I love it. That's I love it. I'm excited. Yes. Yes. She is an absolute bulldog, she really is. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, well, I'm super excited about the choice and that she was uh, passed up because that's the one I wanted the most. And also what I love too is all three of these mentors are really focused and determined and driven to help all of you while you're here, right? So even though Patrice and Michael will be without a mentor for the morning, doesn't mean they can't go out, make a ton of sales, 
and show everybody else up too, right? For the next several hours, you will be out in the field with each of these mentors, running appointments, door knocking, setting appointments, closing in person, doing whatever you can, field sales wise, to make sales. And remember, don't forget about referrals, right? You get one person, right? I've seen it with, my, I've seen it with, with Daddy Askins, by the way, right? You get one person, <laughs> you make one sale, that thing can turn into 50 clients, right. right? You never, ever know, so don't ignore that. Push today, get off to a fast start as we jump out for day two of The Ultimate Agent. Super excited! I have a a, a, a partner, um, so I'm excited about that. We're gonna write six abs before noon. <laughs> that's good. That's good. That's good. I feel so much better that I have David with me. So I got a chance to go out with Moon today and I was pretty pumped. She picked me, she wanted me to be her mentor. She's, she's definitely a winner. So once you find a winner, somebody that has heart, somebody that has grit, the rest is just learning the skills. And, and that's gonna happen over time. All right, have you doing off the lead yet? Um, not in a long time, but not, um. All right, do you know what you're gonna say? My name is Moon. Um, you filled out this form um, for the state, what is it called? State regulated. Don't do that. So, okay. <laughs> You're like looking at it, no. No, no, let me hear what you're gonna say first. I feel pretty good about it. Uh, got my first appointment at 9.30, uh, and then my next one's not till the afternoon, so I got a little bit of dialing and stopping in to do, visit some folks that uh, said, hey, just swing on by, so. I'm pretty confident. I mean, when I set my appointments, they're all pre-qualified, so I do a lot of the late work ahead of time, so I've got their options ready to go. I'm feeling really excited. It's day two, about to go in the field. I made some good appointments yesterday. I'm just excited about it. I have my map uh, all routed out, learned some new things about routing maps and things like that. So hey, I'm ready to go door knocking. So far I got 13 appointments in the books uh, for today and tomorrow. So uh, Brian and I, super excited. We got a great plan. We're gonna start door knocking these direct mail leads on our way in, to and from the appointments. Gonna get referrals in there. I'm super excited, man. It's, it's a great start. Uh, and it, it's really good to get off to a really great start. So that's what we're doing. This episode of The Ultimate Agent is sponsored by the Jackson Agency and Custom Life Pro. For the past five years, the Jackson Agency has been helping families get life insurance protection across the United States. The Jackson Agency is also continuously looking to hire new business partners to help more families get the protection they are looking for, want, and need. Click the link in the description to learn more. These door knocks, I was just thinking of like, hey, Miss Betty, hey, this is, this is Johnny. This is Brian. Just wanted to. Uh, we're the we we're assigned to your case. Saw that you filled out this form. We're just responding to that. Just wanted to drop up, like give this information to you. Is now a good time or? Yeah, just. But the one thing you want to do is show them the lead, show them the card, because it see it shows their handwriting and everything. So that all of a sudden that brings it back to they remember doing it. I love showing the lead card to the person at the door because they see this through handwriting. They see this, it's their, you know, they filled it out. It, it'll bring back the remembrance of, of what they filled out. About to head into my first appointment with Barbara. Barbara is 63 and she has th uh, four, four grandchildren at home. So I brought, uh, brought some donuts for the kids this morning. So Barbara and I can sit and have a, a good conversation. I will say this, you know, for the first day, walking into the first appointment, it's a little nerve wracking only because there's a contest on the line. I'm not worried about the appointment at all. Uh, not nervous about that. <clears throat> that I can handle. It's just uh, not knowing who can get the first sale. So talk to you guys soon. Are we here where they're recording? Oh man. Okay. So when I was with Moon today, the first one, I think she was kind of nervous on. She wasn't spending a lot of time 
trying to make a friend. She went right into the application and, and I could see she was nervous and the client still wasn't really comfortable with her. So I told her, take some time, make a friend, even if it takes 20 minutes. Do you think that for the presentation, I didn't read it like verbatim, but I covered, I thought I covered the highlights. Do you think that that was okay? Yeah, that was fine. Okay. So like I said, the, the one thing I would uh, critique is definitely take your time and make sure you make a friend in the beginning. Okay. Right, slow down with that. You know, get her comfortable, get yourself comfortable. And then just remember, you know, focus on three things. Focus on one, making a friend, mm -hmm. two, leaving them in a better place than when you came, okay. which means that sometimes that's just them knowing more and being more prepared knowledge-wise for their final expenses. Right. And then the other thing is, you know, presenting the information so they understand the products and services that you're offering. Okay. And if you do those things, everything else will work out. Everyone's gonna have some problems or some issues they have to overcome in the beginning. So I think she did really, really good. Anybody that's been in the car with me knows that if you've never done a door, a door knock, if you've never done an appointment in the field, it's it's a little scary to walk up to a stranger's house. So what are you most nervous about? Well, ne since I have a partner, I'm not as nervous about, I, I'm, I get more nervous about where the unknown of the surroundings. Oh, really? More than I do people. That's so crazy, like, you, like, you mean like the area that you're working? I've always grew up where it's really small oh, or in it. the middle of BFE, you know. Mm. You don't have yeah, to yeah, worry yeah. about crime as much. So I was out with Leslie uh, this morning. Um, Omaha is definitely different. I'm not used to it. I struggle sometimes going into the field on days that I'm emotional. I don't feel like doing it. Something crazy happened at my house. The kids are sick. I don't want to go. You know, we, we all go through these days where we're just not feeling it. So the very first thing we did was like blast some crazy music on the radio and like pump each other up. And it was just, once you do that and you've got your energy level to where it needs to be, once you get to the door, it's kind of hard for that energy to, to drop because you're like ready to go. What are you about to do? You turn them all around. You are a pro at that. <laughs> what are you good at? Doing U-turns illegally. Don't you do it. Stop. <clears throat> that looks like an apartment. See how it's got the two doors? Duplex. First cell is in. Okay. I may not update you on all of them, but we're gonna update you on this one. Michael just submitted the very first cell of the ultimate agent, which is super exciting. Ran my first appointment today for this contest. Set with um, with Barbara. Barbara had a heart attack um, in October, so the only thing I could offer her was a guaranteed issue whole life. Uh, so we wrote that one for uh, five thousand. She just wants a very simple cremation. Showing up to that appointment, I had a good feeling about it. We built great rapport on the phone. I took her donuts. Her grandkids were going to be there, and it just went well. You know, the whole appointment went well. Oh, not much. Just left the first appointment. Nice. How'd it go? It went well. It went well. Um, ended up with a, with a very small guaranteed issue whole life, but uh, she was very happy with it. So um, she's also going to talk with the kids about them uh, helping her so she can get some more coverage here in the next few weeks. Boom, bro. We'll take it. It's a great start. Yes, sir. So awesome job. You're, you're a machine. <laughs> One down, several to go, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. One of at least 25, so. I knew right away that I was going to, you know, that had to be in the first sale of the day because it was the first one scheduled out of everyone else. How do you get this little thing off? And I need to see what time I need to be back so I don't miss the afternoon session. I learned a lesson about time management today. Just being able to be in the field and manage your time efficiently. I need to be back today. Got my specs. I need to be back today at one. Okay. I can get a few more appointments in. Be back by one. You know, if you know that you only have an hour left and you need to be somewhere, then that might not be the time to go run an appointment. 
that may be a time to find a quiet spot and maybe make some phone calls. So just learning that and figuring out the time management piece of it. Welcome back from the first morning. Out in the field, making sales, setting appointments, door knocking. How'd we do? We did amazing. We learned a lot. We, we honed some skills, which is important, right? You know, the biggest thing is like everyone wants to win the contest. That's great. But like what's really important is that they learn something while they're here. He taught me a lot. And I know that he felt like he was being hard on me, but I just felt like, look, whatever you have to say, I'll take it. How about you, Leslie? Oh my goodness. So Amanda is a natural and we had the best time. We door knocked so many people. We overcame a lot of it technical objections, like we just had stuff happen to us. Yeah. And it's impossible to work the business without knowing how to overcome the life, right? So um, when when GPS stops working or like you get lost on a side road somewhere, or you go up the wrong way up a, run, a one way, <laughs> oh. that's kind of fun. <laughs> yeah. it was, who, it's who, exploring the new area. Who was driving? She drove. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I told you it Listen, happened. We, she will do whatever it takes to um, get to a house, <laughs> believe me, and get in the house. <laughs> so I was excited to work with her. Uh, working in Omaha is definitely different because there's a lot of one-way streets, kind of went down the wrong way, which I knew it would happen. Um, but uh, had a great time and learned a lot from Leslie this morning. Great job, you two. That's yeah. great. Okay, mm -hmm. I love it. Yeah. All right, Daddy Askins, uh, you and you and you, you and little Johnny, right? <laughs> Yeah, how'd that go? Well, it was great. John, Johnny's a natural. He, he did a great, great job. Uh, we had a lot of fun. We talked a lot about just, just business. Even after he leaves here, all the things he can implement and how he can really improve his business. Uh, we had some challenges, but we had some successes. And, yeah. and uh, it was just, a I thought, a great day, a great morning. I enjoyed hanging out with him. So That's cool. Michael, how was your morning, buddy? My morning was awesome. It really was. It was just a simple reminder that I still can go out there and do what I do. I've been out of the field um, in a full-time sense because we've been working on building the agency. And it was just, it was great to be back kneecap to kneecap with the people in my element, you know? Yeah. And it was awesome. It really yeah. was. Yeah, I love it. Well, y'all will notice there's one contestant missing. Patrice Shepard is not here and did not get back on time, which means she will be penalized. She doesn't know this yet. We're about to inform her as soon as she arrives. She will be penalized $500 of annual premium for not respecting the schedule, getting back on time, and it's not fair to y'all that she's still out selling and you're here, right? So she is not here, okay? And she will find out soon enough. Uh, also, something that is exciting and fun that we're gonna move into, we're gonna move into our second agent challenge here in a few minutes. It's gonna be a live door knocking uh, challenge with objections thrown in. And you will be judged by the three mentors, okay? Whoever wins first in this door knocking challenge will get to take my father, Brian Haskins, out for several more hours today. Second place, will get to take David Price with them all of tomorrow morning. Right, and so only two prizes for the door knocking challenge, the second agent challenge. And then Leslie is crazy busy. She has to get home this afternoon. So she'll be leaving after the agent challenge. However, I wanted to give her a proper thank you and send off because she is unbelievable, super engaging, crazy talented, and is an absolute terminator. And I can tell you this show would not be what it is without her. Thank so, you. Yeah, Aww. thank you. <laughs> And now, who's ready for the agent challenge? Okay, let's go, let's go. We're about to kick off our second agent challenge. We have Mr. Harold. Thank you very much, sir, for joining us today. Likewise. Okay, this is gonna be a blast. I love this. Harold's gonna be the hardest. He's gonna give him so many objections, right? So here's what's gonna happen. Each one of the contestants, they're in the other house are gonna walk over, they're gonna knock on this door, they're gonna meet Harold, and he's gonna give them a series of objections that they've gotta overcome. We're gonna keep track of first and second place, and our lovely judges for the challenge are our mentors. Super excited. Nobody tells me nothing.
Yes. Hey, Harry, how are you? My name is Michael Vigil. I'm a senior benefit. What's this all about? Well, I was taken back at first, <laughs> just with the costume, right? This is about this form that you or your wife sent in to us. It, was, uh, it wasn't too long ago. We've been trying to re reach you on the phone, but I just haven't had any chance to get to you, so I thought I'd just drop by. I was at one of your neighbor's houses, helping them take care of some coverage. If it wasn't a crossword puzzle, I didn't fill it out. I quickly assessed uh, the person, you know, and I, I addressed all of his concerns. I overcame every one of his objections. A uh, crossword puzzle, so maybe Mame did? Is, is Mame home? I'm sorry. You're sorry? She's not home or? I wasn't trying to be pushy. I wasn't trying to force my way in. Overall, I felt pretty good with it. Horrible. Don't let the cat out. I was really trying not to like bust out laughing because it caught me off guard and I thought I'd get disqualified for laughing so I was trying to keep a straight face. My name is Moon, here's my card. We talked earlier and I'm here to follow up on the form that you filled out about the final expense um, regulated state program that's available for you, Nebraska residents. But I was still like looking at his hair. <laughs> I was kidding. Getting it even. I couldn't get past the hair. Literally, I couldn't. I'm sorry, we already have insurance. I'm not oh, interested. I understand that, sir. Most people do have insurance, and I applaud you for that. The reason why, in here, let me give you that so you know who I'm talking about. And this is my picture and my license so that you know that I'm not a telemarketer, okay? I'm actually following up on something that you filled out. Um, it was just a few days ago, so you don't remember filling it out? No, I didn't fill anything out. All right, is this your handwriting, sir? That's your name? I don't recall. Would you like me to uh, just explain to you, if nothing else, just what you're entitled to, and then you can make an informed decision what's best for your family? I do feel entitled. Come on. I mean, it went by so fast, it was like a blur, but all I remember is the hair. <laughs> Whoever did that costume was wrong. <laughs> so I'm just blown out of my mind she didn't ask to come in. But I did, I really did like the knock, the old school. Well, I taught her the knock. She remembered that part. So, so of course, I, I can't believe you guys aren't teaching the knock. I love, I, I, I love. But she didn't have to come in. Why are you me all the time? No, you're doing amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Do you hear this? Where I'm, are you, daddy? I'm, I'm witnessing, I'm witnessing. <laughs> See, he's, he's wisdom, right? He knows to just listen, stay back. And he's the one closing deals out. He's the only one closing deals out there today. <laughs> Hi, is, are you John? I'm Harold. I, oh, hi Harold. My name's Amanda and I've been trying to call you the last couple of days and I uh, thought I'd stop by since I haven't been able to get a hold of you. I'm sorry, who are you? You were asking about the state regulated life insurance and um, I was just thought I'd come by instead of since I couldn't get a hold of you. What's this about? The uh, state, Nebraska state regulated life insurance. I already have insurance. Um, well, were you, did you want more coverage? Is that why you uh, filled this out and sent it in? I didn't fill anything out. Well, do you, uh, is this not your handwriting? It could be anyone's handwriting. Um, well, uh, is this not your age and your address? I'm not interested. Um, now, are, do you have all your uh, Medicaid or Medicare coverage? I'm all set with insurance. You got A and B? Perfect. What am I supposed to do? What the heck yeah, was that? Wrong, right? I have no idea. Now, thing, we did not talk about one Medicare positive, at all. Let's see if Brian says it. She go. took one step in. She had her foot in the door. Yep. She did get her foot oh, in the door. Yeah. She had her foot in the door, yeah. which was great. That was the first one that's done that. But she's the only one that didn't get in the door. We sat, we stepped she, in there. She, she hit the white flag before Gray Guy hit the white flag. Yeah. <laughs> Gray Guy. <laughs> yes, but we never talk about Medicare outside. You, you don't keep, that's definitely not. You that's only, that's how final expense agent never says final expense. As soon as they hit an objection, they go to Medicare. Mm, okay. True story. Mm, but also, like, don't, not, again, not doing anything at the door, but trying to get in the house. That's why I say there's, step one is get in the door, don't do anything else but get in the door. At all costs, get in the door. That's only one job, just get in the door. But you can't get in the door if you don't ask. Right. Again, not one person asked to get in the door. Yes? Hi, Dylan, how are you? My name is Harold. Oh, your name is Harold? I'm so sorry about that, Harold. Yeah, so that was interesting. Um, um, your next door neighbor, Cody, I was just over to his house helping him out with some final expense life insurance, and I asked him if he knew anybody that I could talk to, and he told me to come over and talk to you. I already have insurance. You do? Awesome. 
So there's some new 2022 uh, programs available, and I just want to give you some information about it. Only take about 10 minutes of your time. I'm sorry, I don't have 10 minutes now. You don't have 10 minutes now? Well, when will be a good time for me to get back to you? I'll, maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow? What, to, what time tomorrow? I don't know. Look, I'm sorry, I'm not interested. What it did for me is it made me step inside of being a student and then like presenting to my teachers. But how I was feeling in the moment, I was kind of confused. I was like, well, what should I be saying? Am I saying the right things? So that was the perfect challenge at the perfect time to get us, to charge us up, to get us to go back out there and, and, and help some more families. Yes, hello. Hey, Mr. Jones. Hey, my name is John. My name is Harold. I honestly didn't know what to expect. Like the, the challenge was going on a lot and then I literally just get off the phone and they're like, Johnny, it's your turn. I'm like, dude, what are we even doing? So like literally walking out, I was like, wait, what's the goal? And they're like, I was like, is it to get in? And they're like, yeah. So I was like, okay. Hey Harold, this is Johnny. I'm the field underwriter. I'm just responding to this lead that you sent in. And I literally called it a lead. I like pulled up the paper. I was like, you filled out this lead. Oh, I mean like postcard. This form that you sent in. Uh, regarding the final expense, the new final What's expense. this about? This is the, about the new state regulated final expense for just Nebraska residents. Is You filled out the form, sent it back to us. I'm just the field underwriter in your area. I didn't, didn't fill out any, I didn't fill out any oh, forms. Yeah. Was it uh, Miss Jones that's filled it out maybe? Because well, certainly, certainly not. I don't, <laughs> I don't really know what to do, but uh, I just like, let's, you just assume you just gotta assume the the clothes, and so I was like, "All right, let's let's go in. Can I come in?" And just kind of walked in. So, well, uh, it, it should take about five minutes to review this information. Is it? We, come in. Let's see. All right, awesome. Champion, he's Mr. Done, Eskins done, again. Yep. That's it. <laughs> We're fired. Dude, this is the ultimate trainer right here. The ultimate trainer. <laughs> he created Cody. Oh, seriously? Yeah. Just say, could we spend some time together? <laughs> now that was a fun challenge. <laughs> Did you guys think it was fun? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> all right. So we're about to release who won, who got first, who got second out of the five. What did y'all think of the overall competition? David, let's start with you. You know, I really want to see what Leslie has to say about the competition. Uh, <laughs> um, you know, we need some work in this area, big time. Door knocking is probably one of the most difficult things for agents to wrap their heads around. It takes a skill set that needs to be developed. So this challenge was super hard. It was just really an uncomfortable challenge. That's what I think. What's some, uh, Dad, what's some advice you would give after seeing that? I think uh, they all did a good job. It's, it, it was a very difficult challenge. I think the one big thing is, is that uh, we have to ask to get into the home and uh, that wasn't done enough to where you actually maybe ask and take that first step and uh, just to kind of uh, make, the, make the move, make the, the initiative. What do you think, David? I think the most important thing about door knocking is asking to come in the home. What was one, what was, what, who was one person that said something and you were like, oh, I wish they wouldn't have said that? <laughs> well, you know, I'm gonna uh, pick on what, what wasn't said, you know, uh, something that kind of hurt me a little bit. You know, I was out door knocking with Miss Moon, right? And I think I told her what the most important thing to say was at the door was. Can I come in? May I come in, right? And, and how many times did you say that at that, that door? I don't remember. Um... Because you didn't say it. Because <laughs> you didn't say it, you know? And I was a little hurt because I was speaking so highly. I said, Moon is going to crush this competition. Uh... We were just out door knocking. I gave her my secret sauce and I looked really bad. All right. Let's see who won. Let's get down to the brass tacks. Okay, so. From the judges, who received second place? And because they win second place, they get David Price out with them tomorrow morning. We elected Patrice yes. for second okay. place. Yes. 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 Love good it. Job. Way to go, Patrice. Woo. Okay, good. 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 Yes, yes, yes. All right. Who won first? There's four more. Right? Is it Michael? Is it Johnny? Is it Amanda? Is it Moon? Who we got? So I mean, real simple, right? Let's let's all be honest here. Who who asked to come in the door? 
and that's the winner right there. Mm -hmm. right. Wow. Woo! That easy. Yeah. Oh. Way to go, Johnny. Yeah, I was really surprised I won, to be honest. Congratulations, Johnny, for first place on the door knocking challenge. Now, let's go back out in the field. Let's make as many sales and help as many people and make girl. as much money as we possibly can to finalize day two because an elimination is coming very soon. Okay, Patrice, so you, you got back in the middle of the door knock challenge. You got back about 1.45, mm -hmm. which is about 45 minutes late. We are going to have to penalize you $500 of annual premium. Really? Mm -hmm. Why were you late? Well, no, you know what I'm about to do first? I left my um, reading glasses here this morning. I'm about to stop by the nearest Dollar Tree and I need to buy a cheap pair of reading glasses. So I stopped by the Dollar Tree, picked up a pair of brand new specs, and I saw a young lady, she was buying a lot of balloons, and I said, what's going on? And she said a whole bunch of things, like in a row, like somebody died, somebody's having a baby, somebody's, we're going to a funeral, a baby shower, I was like, Oh, okay, well, do you need some life insurance? She was like, yes, we do. Wow. And I said, where are you going? I'll follow you. So I went into, uh, back to my uh, car, and I was sitting there, and it was taking her a long time. Is this her? And I'm like, why is she taking so long? No, not yet. But then I had to check myself, and I said, think about, Patrice, what she just told you. I was just about to get irritated and say, oh, I'm waiting on her and where is she at and why is she taking so long? But when I met her and when I was talking to her, I heard her say that she needed to go to the funeral home. She just told you about funerals, babies, going to the cemetery. You need to work on your patience. So maybe something happened. Maybe the reason why I asked her do you need life insurance? And she was like, yeah, I do. My son needs some, some too. Maybe her sense of urgency was because somebody just passed. How inconsiderate of me to say or be thinking inside, what's wrong? When is she coming? There she is, right there. Ma'am? Then she came out and had I don't know how many balloons. And I'm driving an SUV. And she said, put, you're gonna follow me? I said, yes. Can I put these in your car? So she put the balloons in the back of my truck and I followed her, you know, to her home. And there was her family waiting for some life insurance. See? See about patience. Someone you literally met at Dollar Tree. Somebody that I met at Dollar Tree because I was I left my glasses here and I was just going to get a quick cheap pair of little reading glasses. You know what? I'm actually not bummed about it. I'm going to look at my appointments and I'm going to build time in. So maybe an hour before it's time to be back, I'll use that time for calling time so that I can maybe generate some more appointments instead of squeezing my time and going on an appointment. All right, let's do it. Wait, where are my glasses? See, I keep leaving them things. <laughs> Me and these glasses. I left them, I'll be back. Oh, should I bring this, bring my bag with me? I would, yeah. Yeah, I would just, I'd go ahead and pull all the way up in the driveway and uh, and then let's go uh, knock on the door and see what happens. Mr. Sledge, how are you? Uh, my name is Johnny and I'm just the field underwriter assigned to your case. Uh, filled this out about the getting qualified for the new final expense program here in Nebraska. And I just was assigned to your case. You filled this out, sent it back to us. I'm just what responding to, to that. It? Oh yeah, I was just here to drop off information with Brian here. How are you doing, sir? Uh, so, yeah, we could uh, go over this information with you and yeah, Miss Ledge. I'll take that, but I'm, I don't have time for this stuff right now. Yeah, no, it'll take like five minutes That's super right. quick and brief. You don't have time. Yeah, no, I totally understand. Is there a better time that we could swing Not really. by? Cause Not really. Yeah. 
I don't yeah. trust that stuff anyway. Okay. okay. What was the reason that you filled this form out? It doesn't matter. Okay. Uh huh. It really don't freaking matter. Yeah, totally. No, okay. totally understood. I understand that. Yeah, sometimes I don't even trust it either, but. I don't trust anything on the internet at all. Yeah. Just letting you know. Yeah, no, totally understood. Is this your handwriting, though? It's a really handwriting, buddy. I was just curious, sir. Hey, let me see, bud. No, it's not. Okay. Maybe it's Catherine. Thank you. Okay, so with that one. Yeah, the only thing I would do on that one is when you, when he, you know, just Mr. Jones, I'm just trying to do, or, or whatever his name was, uh, I'm just trying to do my job. I, you know, you would fill out the card and the company would ask me to come by. That's the, you know, and so to discuss it with you based on the information you filled out. We did go to the door. Uh, the gentleman was very rude. Uh, and he said he did not fill the card out, but you know, we tried to show him the card. He did fill the card out and it was his card. And uh, I thought Johnny handled himself very well. But what I was most impressed with about Johnny is not only to handle himself uh, well at the door, but when, once we got back in the car, he handled himself really well there because he didn't let it get him down. He, he came to the door with a chip on his shoulder to begin with, so. Yeah. Some well, some won't. <laughs> What's that? Some well, some won't. Absolutely. absolutely. It was a situation to where Johnny said, hey, some will, some won't, so what? And so Johnny says, let's go to the next one. And uh, because he understands insurance is a numbers game, especially when you're working leads, it is a numbers game. And uh, so once the earlier person understands that, the better chance they have of success. And Johnny understood it very, very early. And Johnny has a really bright future ahead of him. I always try to do multiple apps, always. No doubt, I love it, that's so smart. Boom, great All job, right, good sell. Thanks, bro. Tear it up. See ya. Michael just made a sell, and I also got a text from somebody else. Just made another sell. They're starting to stack it. They're starting to get rolling. Momentum's flowing. They're getting from their leads, and it's fun to see. I'm just going to do my best to just keep it moving and make the best of the time that we have today. That's my goal. I'm going to use this morning session with David as a way to optimize this afternoon. I'm not going home tomorrow. I mean, I cannot go home tomorrow. I was just really feeling grateful for being here. I wanna seize the moment. This thing is day by day. This thing is day by day. And nobody should be getting cocky and feeling like, yeah, you know, I got this. And I'm the man or the woman. All of us are great. All of us are talented. All of us are here to win. We're all fighting for it. We all want it. Two of the contestants are here, three are not. It's 8.56, Moon's not here, Amanda's not here, and Johnny, nowhere to be found. We'll see who gets penalized tonight. This episode of The Ultimate Agent is sponsored by the Jackson Agency and Custom Life Pro. For the past five years, the Jackson Agency has been helping families get life insurance protection across the United States. The Jackson Agency is also continuously looking to hire new business partners to help more families get the protection they are looking for, want, and need. Click the link in the description to learn more. All right, end of day two. The numbers are in. We're about to go over the results. Who's happy with your results so far, honestly? <laughs> I'll okay. Take it. Okay. Like, no? No. Okay, not yet, right? A little bit. You said happy, not satisfied. That's true. Thank oh, you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Like right? That's good. Like yeah. So y'all were out in the field for 12, 13 hours today, right? Grinding, pushing. Y'all missed dinner. You were yes. making calls. Johnny was running up and down, right? Michael was calling. All y'all were calling me several times a day. Like y'all were putting in the work. Imagine the urgency. If other insurance agents that are watching this from around the globe, if they put in the type of work you put in every single day, if we mic them up and we put a camera in their face, right, and we push them, 92% of agents would not fail, <laughs> right? The statistic would be yeah. so much higher and so Facts. much better, yep. right? So I want you to be proud of your results because I know you put everything in and tomorrow's gonna be a new day and then it's gonna be elimination soon, right? Mm -hmm. So you're gonna have to make these better too, yeah. okay? So fifth place, 
with one cell and a total premium of $804.48, Moon Woo! Thomas. Okay. Okay. Way to go, Moon. I was really proud of myself because I was like, I just do not want to go back without anything on the board. You're on the board? Hey, I'm yes. Board. Right? I'm on the board. R recap today. Think through what happened today. Talk to us. I had a really great client that she gave me a wonderful um, testimonial, or I guess nice. you want to review. She said, oh, moon girl, you are such a treasure. <laughs> <laughs> um, I had such a good time talking about life and insurance. I wish you the very best, and I will think of you as long as I live. So. Oh, that's, that's so awesome. awesome. There we go. I really made a friend, like David uh, was telling me earlier, like spend a little time making a friend, and I believe I really made a friend for her. That's awesome. I mean, think about it. Agents can do this every day, right? Well, you yeah. did. You made a sell today. You helped. Exactly. That client today. You Amen. made a new friend yeah. today. I did. Right? Yeah. You said you learned some stuff. What was the biggest takeaway for you today as you think through, like if you had to pick one thing? David told me once I give him the three options, don't say anything else. Mm. And I was like, mm -hmm. it felt like 10 minutes, but, <laughs> <laughs> but it was just like she was thinking. Awesome yeah. job. Way I to go, Moon. Moon. I love it. Way to go, Moon. That's awesome. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Fourth place with two cells and a total of $1,133.37, Amanda Lunsford. Yay! Yeah. Well, I mean, nobody wants to come last, so. And two cells, I think, towards the end of yes. the day, right? About 5.30-ish, yeah. 6. Most agents. I was agents, late to the appointment. Oh, you were late? Yeah, because I was doing one appointment, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And 24 minutes later, the other appointment was that far away. A lot of agents would have like tucked their tail between their legs <laughs> oh. and went home. Oh, I might have called my my rock, my husband, and yeah. might have had a couple tears. But... There you go, but you pushed through, right? Which is really Well, cool. because he told me, he's like, get your butt to work. There you go. <laughs> that really changed things. It was um, calling my husband um, and actually my daughter's in the background you know, just checking on me, making sure, you know, just rooting me on. What, what was the uh, recap today? What, 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 it started out a little rocky. Yeah. It finished great. Yeah. First two appointments, um, one, I couldn't find it. Mm. And the second one, I even sang him a song. <laughs> no. Uh, well, his name happens to be- Are you a be, good singer? Well, no. God, no. <laughs> hey, Ricky, you're so fine, like the Mickey song. Uh -huh. So, he loved the song, but it's, and he also just lost his wife. So oh. it should have been a, you know, good slam dunk. But I uh, met Norma. She lived in a very sketchy apartment building. A little scary when I first pulled up. Mm -hmm. Lots of loud music thumping outside. And I'm, you know, just sure. different. Sure. And, but she was amazing once I got in there. Yeah, okay. it was Two good sales during the day. Awesome job, Amanda. Thank okay. you. Great Thank finish you. to the day, seriously. Okay, next up, currently in third, three sales, a total of $1,176.24, Mr. Michael V. Hill. Hi. Okay. Oh. I don't feel comfortable at all. Um, you know, I'm in third place by by dollars. Started off great, and then um, my second appointment fell through. So I just, I said, you know what, I'm gonna go dial. I didn't take my charger for my laptop with me, so mm. went back to the room, and I just put my head down, and I dialed, and I set up my afternoon pretty, uh, pretty full. And, um, when we left lunch here, my very first appointment, I was 49 minutes later than anticipated. And she says, I thought you were, you forgot about me. The afternoon I was disappointed with myself personally. Um, there was a couple of appointments that I knew I probably shouldn't have shown up to, but I always do it anyway, because you never know, everyone deserves the same opportunity in and out. And then I, uh, I went back and I started dialing and setting for tomorrow. It's good, man, you pushed through, yeah. All right, way to go, Michael. Woo woo! Okay, currently in second place, 
with two cells for a total of $2,500 in annual premium, Johnny Nidafen. Okay. You look disappointed though. Big time. Okay, what are you disappointed for? I had a coach all day and didn't capitalize. And it was just a lot of learning. Um, I really wanted to utilize what he was really great at, which was door knocking. But that's really not what I'm good at. I've mm. never done it. And so it was, it was a switch that I had to make and we had to decide that we're not gonna door knock. And I'm, we're gonna go all in on just calling. Cause I mean, the first door knock we had, the guy literally told me to f take a hike and cuss me out and slam the door on me. Oh no. It happens. It wasn't a huge deal. Yeah. I, some will, some won't. So what? You just move on. But That's right. that, that, I was just like, dang. But you just keep moving on, keep going. And um, it was a good, I feel like there's just so much ups and downs because I was feeling a little down. And then all of a sudden I won that door knock thing. And I, I literally thought I was the worst for sure. And it just, that got me in a better mood. And then literally going from there to four no shows, I wasn't tying it down the way I should. And I'm like, all right, let's 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 refocus here. Yeah, just a lot of ups and downs for sure. But I feel a lot more confident in my strategy going forward. And uh, I think it'll reap a lot of great rewards. Today was a, definitely a, an experiment. Am I gonna door knock for the first time and just start doing that and do th this learning curve? Or am I just gonna do what I know and go back to calling and setting appointments? And I decided I'm just gonna call Dial until, dial until I, I get the appointments that I need, and let's go. Cool, I love it. Well, second place is in first. I know you're not satisfied with that. However, fantastic start. Okay, give it up for Johnny. Awesome job, buddy. Yeah, okay. yeah. All right, there's only one contestant woo, left, woo, woo, right? Woo. And with a big old smile on her face. <laughs> okay. Okay. Five cells. And she's on, the girl, she's on the girl side. A total of $3,623.88. Yes. Love it. However, <laughs> minus the penalty Aww. of $500 for being extremely late <laughs> and possibly causing Michael to be extremely late for his appointment, right? Actual total now, $3,123.88. Awesome job. Good job. Awesome job, Patrice. I feel like I did the right thing. I helped the family, and that's what we're here for, to help families. I love it. Way to go, Patrice. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome day. Love it. Awesome, awesome, awesome day. Everybody on the board, we had a fantastic yes. day two as we got out in the field. Awesome job. Day three starts tomorrow. Another day, another super important day. Elimination is coming soon. Do everything in your power to make sure that you do everything you possibly can to do just as good, if not better, tomorrow. We'll see you in the morning. Episode of the Ultimate Age. Welcome to day three. Today is our last filled cells only day. And there's an elimination coming very, very soon. I want to see in this so bad. So today is the second day of the challenge and elimination day. Today is, is survival mode for me. You eat or go home. Like that's just kind of, kind of how this goes. And, and I love it. About to take a lot of apps, so keep watching. I'm going to keep my mindset good and positive because that's everything. The results are in. It's time to get down to the numbers we've been waiting for all day.